I'm going to try and convince you of how very critically important order is to something like a sequence. Not just because I say it is, but because if you don't, you're going to be in some serious trouble. So watch with me. This is a, uh, well this is a series, right? So it's a sequence, one, negative a half, a third, negative a quarter, a fifth, negative a sixth, and I'm just summing them. So I've turned it into a series, okay? Now, it turns out that the order of this thing is everything. It's everything. Now, to try and illustrate that for you, um, what is this equal to? Okay, now let's just pretend I don't know what it's equal to because, as a matter of fact, I do know what it's equal to, which is mind blowing enough, but I'll tell you that at the end of this, okay? Suppose I don't know what it's equal to, okay? It is equal to something, by the way, it can be rigorously proven that this, this series does have an actual value, okay? By the way, um, this series is important. It has a, it's important enough to have a name. It's called the alternating. Can you see why it's called alternating? Plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus. The alternating harmonic series. Harmonic as in like musical notes, because if you divide up, that, how we get the Western scale is by dividing up um, a string held attention into certain ratios. Okay, so that's the name of this series. Yes, it should be familiar. Okay, now. Here's what I'm going to do with this thing, okay? I'm going to treat it, I'm going to do some very, very ordinary things with it, okay? For those of you who were in my class last year, even more ordinary than those, okay? Watch. Here's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to multiply this thing by 2. Multiply it by 2. Now, if I multiply the left-hand side by 2, that corresponds to multiplying everything on the right-hand side, every single term in the series by 2. Do you agree with that? It's just doubling, okay? So I'm just going to, I'm not even going to simplify it. I'm just going to write it out all doubled, okay? So I'm going to get 2 minus 2 over 2 plus 2 thirds minus 2 over 4 plus 2 fifths minus and so on, okay? Now when I have a look at this guy, right? I haven't done anything unusual, anything out of the ordinary. Now I'm just going to simplify. It's just fractions and I can write them in simpler form, okay? So for instance, now I'm not, I'm not going to do any adding or subtracting. No adding or subtracting involved, which is usually where a trick can be brought in. Okay? I'm not going to do anything like that. I'm just going to simplify the fraction. So I've got 2 minus 1. Wait, do you mean 2x? Wait, you mean 2x, though, right? Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. I haven't, yeah, you're right. I haven't divided. I'm just simplifying fraction. Uh, 2 minus 1 plus, that's already the simplest thing you can get. What's this guy? Uh, a half. That's as simple as it gets. Uh, minus a third. a third and so on. Are you okay with that? Okay, now once I've done this, you can see I have a series of things that have the same denominator. Do you agree with that? Like for example, I mean these are both whole numbers, so I can put them together. These are both over 3. You, if I kept going, I'd have 2 that were over 5, and, and on and on and on. Okay. So let me just collect like terms as it were. Okay. What's this guy? Well, this I is one. 1. Okay. For reasons that I hope become really obvious in a second, I'm going to skip this two thirds, I'm going to write them minus one over two first, because it doesn't match up with anything. Then I've got two thirds minus a third. What's two thirds minus a third? Oh. It's one third. What the flop? Right. Now I can write more terms if you like. I can write more if you want, but I can tell you right now that this is what you'll get. Now, hold on a second. Hold on a second. I multiplied by two. And what I got when I multiplied by 2 was where I started. 2x equals x. You broke x is equal to 0. Sorry, everyone. I broke the universe. Okay. Now, here's the really interesting thing. Okay. There's a few things to point out. Let me just, um, as an aside, let me talk to all the people who I taught last year and who've seen me. You know, infinite series are really dicey things. You have to be careful with them, right? Now, last year I played some tricks with that kind of thing. But let me tell you right now, one of the reasons why I could play those tricks is that what I had over here was what we call a divergent series. So its value, like say the series 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, it just sort of blows up. It never goes toward anything. This, this series, the alternating harmonic series, it actually does. It goes to a well-defined value. And its value is even more mind-blowing. It's log 2. Okay? Now, the strange thing though, is that even though all mathematicians agree that this whole series, if you take it to infinity, is log 2, if all you do, like let's just think about this. I multiply by 2. Any problems there? I can multiply by 2, it's no big deal. 
Um, I simplified some fractions. Do you agree that 2 over 2 is 1 and 2 over 4 is a half? It's no big deal. It took mathematicians a long time to realize the big deal was here. What did I do from this line to this line? What did I actually do? I snuck past it, yeah. You reduced the number of terms. The number of terms collapsed. The reason why I could collapse them is because I, I sort of mentioned it, but I sort of glossed over it as well. Um, see how I moved this term? I, I moved it up one, right? And that let these two guys simplify together, and it's what would let you know, subsequent terms simplify together as well, okay? That mere act of shifting things around a little bit, rearranging, actually changes what the sum is. There's, um, there's a property, not a property, a theorem to do with this. It's called the Riemann series theorem, or the Riemann rearrangement theorem, which says there are certain kinds of series, like this, where if you muck with their order, all you have to do is rearrange things a little, and you'll come out with something completely different.